everybody. Hope everybody's doing really well today. I am here to talk about a super cute new book that I picked up and I did get it on Etsy. I will link it down below. And the store name is Sonia Stegman. Stegman? I'm not fully sure. Um, she's the artist and the book is called Soft Ladies. It has 15 images um, which are shown on the back. And this book does also come in a digital version. Again, it is available on her Etsy store. So size wise, it's, I mean, it's bigger than your hands, um, but it's definitely not the size of like a Creative Haven book, but it's also not a pocket size book. It's a happy medium. <laughs> and um, I wanted to do a full flip because I haven't seen anybody else flip this book before. Um, first of all, the packaging was stunning. When I opened my little package today, I was like, oh my gosh, like it was so beautiful. And she did include some freebies from her store, also packaged incredibly. So I will go through these at the end of the video in case anybody's curious, but I wanted to first flip through the book. So there's a little bit of information about her as an artist and kind of a quick thank you. And then we dive into the images. So they are all single-sided, which is incredible. The paper is solid. Um, I haven't colored in here yet, so I can't speak about how various colored pencils and markers lay down on this paper because I literally got this book today. But it is so cute. I can't wait to start working in here. Very nice. And I like that there's a range of detail, like some pages like this are less detailed and the one like the pre previous one is more detailed. So this one is beautiful as well. I love all the greenery behind. And the line work is thick enough that I definitely think you could use alcohol markers in here if you wanted to. Also a very sweet one. This one just gives me very strong Harry Potter, Hermione kind of feelings, <laughs> um, especially with the cat, um, since she does have a cat in, um, Hermione has a cat in Harry Potter. Um, the cat looks a little different, but that's fine. But it's just so cozy and you know, with the books, the chess, again, Harry Potter. I don't know about the butterflies, like Harry Potter connection wise, but very beautiful page. And this one. One of the less detailed ones. A nice Easter page, perhaps, with the bunny rabbit. Then this stunning one. Love the frame. And then we have this one. I mean, this one just makes me so happy with this cute little cat and the flowers and the butterflies. Amazing. A more simple one. This one is potentially my favorite just because I'm a sucker for a good floral picture, but it's also just absolutely beautiful. Then we have this one again with the butterflies. Very, very pretty. And that is it. So those are all the images. Do note that this last image is actually printed on the cover of the book. So I don't know if that matters to you, but it's not on one of these pages, it's the cover. So do just keep that in mind. And it is included in the count of the 15 because it's the last image here. Um, the image on this side of the cover, this little one, is not included in the count, but the other ones are. And then you have um, just her name and then her information. But this book is super duper cute. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm a big fan and I'm really excited to color in it. And um, I paid, let's see how much for it. I paid $10.44 for it. And the digital version is $8. 
Um, I probably would have gotten the digital version just because it's easier for moving, but the store is actually based in Germany and I'm in Germany. So the shipping was like less than $2. So that point I was like, I might as well just get the printed version instead of trying to find a printer on my own and everything like that. She does also have another coloring book of mermaids. Um, so if you're a mermaid fan, maybe check that one out as well. Again, I will link her Etsy down below. But then maybe we can move on to all the lovely extras that she included. Um, first of all, I love a clear envelope. So first you get these um, stamps. I don't know if they're, I don't think they're authentic stamps. Like I don't know if I could mail something with them. I don't know, but I'm going to keep them and probably put them in like my journal or something just because they are so, so cute. And it's not like I mail things very often. Um, then she included a sticker uh, because she does also make stickers. I saw today on her Instagram that she um, has created some new ones and they look amazing. Um, it seems like a very good quality sticker and I love the colors. So actually tempted to put this one on my laptop because my MacBook is the rose gold color and this would fit right in. Then, so sweet, she did include a really beautiful thank you note that she signed and like put my name on and everything. So I think this is beautiful and just the image. I love her art style, so big, big fan. Then I got a little business card. Again, this artwork, I just want, like, I want my life to look like this. <laughs> um, so this is just kind of her little business card with, again, with her information on it. I love things like this to use as bookmarks. So I'm going to hold on to this. I mean, I'm going to hold on to all of this, but this will definitely end up being used as a bookmark and potentially maybe even her thank you card. Um, it's just nice. I tend to have multiple like short story collections going, so need multiple bookmarks for that. And then the last thing that she included was this stunning card, which is a smaller version of just the cover, but it is, um, what is it called? Postcard. And I wish you could feel this. Like the finish on this is amazing. It's so soft. Um, it's like silky smooth. I, like it's just amazing. So as I was looking at this, I was like, I wonder if I can recreate this. So what, so what I was thinking was maybe I could try to copy these colors um, in the image in the book because it is one of the images in here, obviously. So I think I'm going to try to recreate it because I also love the color palette, the pinks and the blues, and the blush tones stunning so i think i'm going to try to recreate that um, i would like to get to this book as soon as possible i do currently have a picture that i'm working on in a rita berman book so i'm going to finish that one but then this one is the next and it's super light i love that so for moving purposes again this would be fabulous it's super light it's not heavy and it's nice and compact i think it would also be great for travel but yeah do check out her etsy store I don't know if she's on Amazon. I honestly didn't even check. Um, I just purchased, purchased it from Etsy, but she does also have an Instagram that I think you should check out. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.